Hello, my name is Elijah Davis, and today we're going to build a connector SDK with AI assistance. And specifically, we're going to do so using the cursor IDE. So we're going to start in the Fivetrain documentation under connector SDK examples. And we're going to see there are tips on using AI. And we will see a agents.md file. So this is our system instruction that you can use for any AI model to give it much clearer context on what you would like it to do when you are requesting it to build a connector SDK solution. So throughout this, you'll see multiple different parameters and specific documentation that we are building out and providing so that it gives you the most prof proficient code. So for example, in here we'll have primary role, knowledge base, assessments, implementation, generation rules, file generation rules, a uh, little bit more verbose examples, We'll have examples of what it needs to do with configuration.json, readmes, support and troubleshooting, et cetera. So what's nice about this, when we go into cursor, we're just going to add this as a notepad and reference it in context in our prompt. So we'll jump over to cursor, and we have our notepad. Our notepad file is, think of that as a system instruction that we're going to reference in our prompt for use throughout our development cycle. So in this example, it's just called connect us to KV2. If you'd like to create a new one, you just click the plus sign, add the information, however you would like. So now that we have that, we have our system instruction loaded in cursor, we need a data source. For our data source, we're going to use the open FDA food API endpoint. And we're gonna notice here we have a context we wanna give our prompt, and most importantly, the AI model and agents. So we're going to grab information about authentication. We're going to grab information about how to use it and example queries. And we're going to add that into a file called notes.txt in our project folder, which is called FDA underscore food. Now, we also have fields that we located on the website, which are under the searchable fields. So we grabbed that YAML file and threw it in our project folder to be used as context. We then have a empty con connector.py, an empty configuration.json, and an empty requirements.txt. These will be populated by the AI once we submit our prompt. So therefore, we now have our system instruction, cursors all set up, we have our data source identified. We now can submit our prompt. So our prompt is broken up into three sections. The top section is source information and context. So we have our API, we have the, net, the notes and example queries. We also have the downloaded fields in our project structure. Our second section is what we're requesting it to do once it's reviewed that information. So we wanted to dynamically create tables based on the endpoints available. It's gonna flatten those dictionaries, upsert the key value pairs as columns, and then it's only gonna define the primary key for schema objects, and it's gonna let Fivetran infer the rest. Our third section is our final command, which is create a Fivetran Connector SDK solution that follows the best practices outlined in our system instructions and our template connector. I have the files prepared in a specific project directory. So you notice we have a template connector. So this was also grabbed from our public repo where we have a template example connector and a connector.py. So to give it additional context, I added that as well as an additional notepad file so I could reference it in my prompts. At this time, we are good to submit the prompt and see if we can get a connector SDK. Now, once this has generated our connector, we're gonna ask it to iterate and test that connector until success. And once it finds success, we're going to review the data and on approval, we will deploy directly to Fivetran. As we can see here, it has now created a few of the project files. It created our configuration.json and our requirements.txt, as we can see here and here. Meanwhile, it's working on the connector.py. Perfect. So we're going to accept the changes. And we're going to say, great test the connector to make sure it works. Now it's going to generate a command 
and ask us if it has permission to run that command. So here we go. It knows that it needs to do it in the project folder and it gave us the debug command. So it identified that we have requests in the requirements, which is not necessarily something you need. And then as it goes through, we can see that it failed. And it noticed a few issues. So it's going to try to address those. And then, so now it's asking two questions. Do we want it to use an API key or modify it to without? We're going to say option two. At this time, it is going through and updating the connector.py again, based on our request to do option two, which was work without an API key. This was one of the options available in the notes.txt. And so it saw that and offered it as a solution. Great, so now, <clears throat> now we can update those keys and those files. and we can test the connector again. Perfect. Now as our connector is running, we can see our state.json and our warehouse DB being written. So as appears, it seems that data is flowing. We'll just let this conclude. Great, so in the sake of time, we're going to interrupt this sync and we're going to ask it to show us the top 10 records from every table. So now we're gonna say use DuckTB to review the top 10 records from every table. Perfect, and we can see our FDA food enforcement. Now we can see all the columns and now the first 10 rows. So as we go through this, this is our data from that endpoint for food enforcement replicated into a warehouse DB file into DuckDB. And now we can see some statistics about that data. And now we are getting AI-driven insights directly on our replicated data through the connector SDK. So this all looks great, at which point we would like to deploy to Fivetran. All right, so now we're going to request that it deploy to Fivetran under a specific name. Yep, and there we go. So now we have successfully created, edited, reviewed and deployed a connector SDK, all with the assistance of AI and an agentic approach. So now if we jump over to our Fivetran instance and I refresh my browser, we can go back and we will see a new test, which we can now sync. So in a few simple steps, we went from a contextually driven prompt up here Broke it into three sections, source information, information on what we wanted it to do, and then direct commands with system instructions, at which point it generated all the necessary files and information to at least start a Fivetran debug, albeit it encountered an error, which it was able to self-resolve, at which point we were able to debug the warehouse DB file in the chat to see the table definition, the top 10 records, classifications and statistics, and other data measurements from table structure to records to recalls, et cetera. All of this done inside of a chat, at which point we approved and deployed to Fivetran using a simple Fivetran deploy command. And at this point, we are able to sync data 
to Snowflake or the destination of our choosing. So curious to see what you do with this next. Um, please test out our system instructions, use an IDE of your choosing, and we'd love to see a contribution or a request for addition 